and welcome back to another rendition of what the heck is inside my planner. Um, I did my pin gems video and it was really, it was fun. I was just me instead of trying to be perfect. So I'm just going to be me today. This is my standard sugar mochi, nope. Mochi's Pink Sugar Matcha from Foxy Fix. I bought it from somebody. She got it in a mystery sale. Um, but I thought it went really, really well with August's kits. These charms are from Calibri. The, so this is my setup for August. Did I say that? I don't know. Let's bring you down so you can kind of see these ones here. These charms are from, these two are Calibri charms, which is Mary Kay's shop. Um, I love this Mad Hatter. I'm an Alice in Wonderland fanatic. I relate to Alice a lot. So when I do my sit down video that I'm planning on filming, I'm terrified to do so. The end of this week, you'll see I have some Alice stuff on the wall behind me. Um, where I sit. And the little sunflower is from, it came in the Coco Daisy kit. Now I subscribe to the majority of the kits. I get the, um, what's it called? I get the standard Dory planner kit, the planner add-on kit, the pocket memory keeping kit, and the planner classified. Yeah, those those are the kits that I get. I'm thirsty and didn't even get me any water. Any noodle. So let's jump right in and see what I got. I do have a couple inserts missing that I decided I wanted to add for the 1407. I know I didn't make my desk all pretty and put planner stuff around and we're just just being real today apparently. <clears throat> And my desk is a mess, but I decided after I felt so good about doing that one, I was like, I'm just going to be me. So I haven't finished the pockets. Usually I cut some of the matching paper and I put in the pockets, but I just, I used a little bit of a card from the paper I had left over to make a, to make a, a little washi card. Oh, that feels really tight. <clears throat> I have my, I've had this clip forever. I don't even know where I got it from. And then I just keep my Moxie Dory. I don't do stenciling or circles much anymore, but when I did, sorry about the glare on this one. I made me a dashboard. I just used some of the paper. I cut it. I put a card on the other side. Glare is not happy today. I used the... This is vellum, <laughs> the gold honeycomb vellum as a, just a separator. And now we're done with the, the, um, glare stuff. I took, this is my standard Dory. So I learned this from, is it Sarah Jane or Essie Ruth that had, she did that. She takes them apart and sews them. I can't remember where I saw that, but I loved that. I thought that idea was very genius. So the first thing I do is I take it apart. And then if I want to, I didn't think I added any in this month. Usually I'll add some of the um, paper as dividers on the inside. So I took apart the bee bumble clip. I didn't like him, bee bumble clip. The bumblebee paper clip. So I didn't like him as a paper clip and just glued him on there. The inside, I cover all of the craft paper with the kit paper because I'm not... I have four other months that I've done. If you want to see those, let me know below. I'll film a quick flip through. So I put Simon and Betty here. These, bless you, my dog sneezes. Simon and Betty here. And that has the monthly calendar, which... Wow, is it too bright in here? That's okay. You can you get the point. On this first spread, I've been doing this for three months now. I love putting out my just a quick at a glance what I've got going on that month. 
And then on the inside, I do a tip in with one of the standard dashboards. Nope, personal size dashboards. And I find a quote before the month start that really resonates. And then on this side, I wrote down, I write down goals that I want to accomplish in August. So that's there. The next section I use as a, I use my Hobonichi, which I'll show you when we're done with this, if it's not too long, as my planner, planner, that's my brain, my life, this is my other half of my brain. Anywho. So I do a little bit of reading every day. So I wanted to pull out a quote from my reading every day to put in here. I was struggling with what to use these pages for. <clears throat> I decided I'm going to give the doodle challenge a try again. And then I don't draw, but I'd really like to learn how. So the best way to do that is to just do it, right? Don't know what to use this section for. Um, I do a one line a day in here where I just jot down something from that day that stuck out to me, whether it be good, bad, ugly. I don't know. Don't know what to do with this page. Don't know what to do with this page. I My psychiatrist wants me to start keeping a health log on uh, basically everything. So food to liquid intake to, can I say intake and output or is that gross? I don't know. To everything. So anything that involves my body, I have to write it down. So I decided that's what I would use these sections for. Every night I can just kind of fill it out. And then I put a section of month reflection down here for me and decorated the back. So that's my standard setup for the Coco Daisy insert. I have the other piece of vellum and the other half of that dashboard. I can never remember where I got these from. They're so pretty. She has my name in gold foil and they're shakers with light pink roses on the inside. Ooh. So I did another, which she's a slippery little thing. She slides around a lot. I did another dashboard insert with the butterflies. I just like the simplicity of it. I put some extra stickers here, some sticky notes, and then I covered this one. This is the, actually I'm using it for this month. This is the 1407 sampler I got a long time ago. Uh, but I decided to use it for August to see how it worked, what I liked. So I decided to do a, the monthly in here is my YouTube blog schedule. This is not what it was supposed to be. It's an ideal schedule, but I need to redo it. <clears throat> I wasn't going to use this page, so I just used some of the paper and another dashboard. Cleaning tracker for this month of things I want to get done. Wish list. We don't need to look at that. Shopping list, meal plan, I probably, I might separate out into four and just use this for the whole month. I don't know. Habit tracker, I really wanted to use. I actually have one of, I have a habit tracker book, a mood tracker book, and a mileage tracker book. For work, I have to track my mileage. I drive a lot. I drive a ton. Um, and get reimbursed mileage. So, and for the past two months, I haven't done it because, I don't know, every night, this is what I pick up when I'm in bed and I go through the whole thing page by page. So having that in here, it'll trigger my brain. Oh, write down where you drove this week. My to-do list for the month. We have a love seat in my living room that has been there way too long. Needs to go to the dump. Bills. I don't know what to use these pages for, so they're just kind of here. I'll figure it out. I like them. Uh, this had one of their 1407 girls on it, but I decided to use a piece of scrap paper that I had for making that dashboard and put it over here. I really like how it turned out. I always use washi to hold my clips down. It's very helpful. And I put, I wasn't going to use this page, so I just put a August dashboard down and then spending tracker, blech. Don't even know how to use this page or what it's for. It has the days of the months, days, and then Monday through Sunday. But I, 
what do you use this for? Because I have no idea. Purchase tracker, which to me that's the same as a spending tracker, but we don't need to discuss that. I don't use this type of checkbook log, which I probably should. I have one, I just don't use it. And then a reading log, which I use differently. In the back here, I just put the Coco Daisy stickers inside of this. Hello, this dashboard so that I can grab grab them and put them in as I want to use them. Just decorated back with another piece of the the paper. There's my tripod. Is it Inception if I wave and I can see myself waving and I'm filming myself waving? Anyway, this is from Jameson Reed Designs. I looking at this makes me cry. It's just beautiful. Whenever I flip through, if I'm at work or... Because I use this in my wallet too. It reminds me just to inhale, exhale, and it will be okay. This is my money pouch. I put cash, coins. And then this is my bills insert, which... Hmm, I'm not really prepared, am I? So... Because I do things on the fly, and I'm not editing this stuff out, and I'm being real, we'll just go be real. I'll use some blobbies. I covered with um, paper from a long time ago. This is from the Planner Society. And then my cards, obviously. In the back of these cards, I just have another the back of that. Breathe, relax, repeat. Then I have my stamp block, which I actually use as a ruler most times, or a little miniature writing board. And then I have all the little paper clips that came with the kit, and just some of the cards I like that I might want to use as tip-ins, or sometimes I'll take these, like, do you suppose she's a wildflower card, and I'll write, like, I love your shoes today, and hand it to somebody if I see them. Um, just different. I like to do different things with them instead of just using them as a pocket card. And then you have the pen that came with the Coco Daisy kit. So that is my standard setup. I did. I broke this charm when I first got it. The hat. I'm so sad, but that's okay. So I love the matcha. I didn't think I was going to like the green. Turns out I like the green a lot. So now I will move into my, this is my Hobonichi Cousin Perfect Fit Boss Babe Madison, to get it all right. Um, Manny and Wayne Gold, I always put a fox and pip embossing on the side. Oh, my little dingleys, dingleys? Sure, are from From You. And this is how I use the kit in my planner. I haven't swapped these out for August, I will take the jellyfish out and put in the, oh, what are the August ones? Oh, the little teacups. So I will just jump into the month. So I use, I use some of the stickers just floating around. I use some of the stickers to just decorate the pages of the month. This is my weekly view. Let's go back to my monthly. Where are you? Where are you? All right, there's my monthly view. So for the past few months, I have, I started this one in March. I don't think there's anything on here. Don't have anybody to see, so. April, I'd kinda used them. I used the Monday, because I never knew what to use those for in the regular planner kit. Oh, my hands are dirty, awesome. May. Use the little stickers, but not the date covers. Use the Monday through Fridays at the top. Use the washi. June's when I really was like, hey, let's use these date dots to cover my dots, and we'll decorate with washi and put some stickers down. July, I used the flags instead of the dots, and that was a really bad idea. It, My eyes look at this, and they're like, I can't see anything. So I'm not to do that one again. So August, I went back to the dots, Monday through Friday, Sunday, um, used the washi, 
denotes when I'm out of town or my husband's in town. We don't have his plan set for this month, but I should probably probably need to throw a roll, roll, roll of washi along this. I think he'll be home next week. And then I just put these here because I thought they looked nice. I, I'm not going to use them, so I don't know. And then back to my week. Like I said, I just used some of the stickers to decorate, and then I put the flags up here, which, excuse me, which I like so much better. And then one thing I do use with the Coco Daisy is I take a tab, and at first I was doing like, uh, let's see, I don't know if you can see or not. Let's zoom out just a little bit. So at first I would just spell it out because they always come with letters. I don't know if that's in the planner, which planner kit that is in. But I, I don't know if it's in the add-on or the regular one. But I would take on the tabs. <laughs> Writing practice. Awesome. Yes, I wrote that. Thank you, Cindy. And I would just stick it on the first day of, of the month. It's like March. I hand wrote it on because I couldn't find my letters or I was lazy or I don't know why. So they're all different. They drive me bananas, but, you know. April, this is all work stuff I had to do. Hopefully I don't have to edit any of this out. Random Simply Gilded bow. I don't know where that came from. See, random. I don't know. Anyway. So April, but then I realized on the April sheet, I have a working facility, so that's why that says that. Um, it has, on the sticker sheets, there's a little sticker I found that has the month and the year. So I was like, sweet. So I put those on just to see. So I liked it. May, once again, oh, and I used, this is how I use the kit in here. I use tippins, I use the washi. So May, we don't need to discuss this side. May is same thing. I couldn't find the sticker. I got lazy. I, I don't know. Something happened. Why is the light changing? June, I had the sticker, but I decided, hey, let's do something different. So I took and used the, I wanted to use the spike vellum, but I don't use an A5. It wouldn't fit in with my project lot, my, my project life, my, what's it called? Pocket projecting, weak memory keeping thing. Not a crafter. And so I decided to put it, I just tipped it in, in here, and I really liked how that turned out. I have the June tab with the June 2018 on it. I used stickers throughout. I used the washi. Uh, marked when my husband was home. Apparently this was a bad week because I didn't write anything down. Except play with July CD kit. You know. So since I liked how this one turned out so much, it's like, hey, I want to do it for July. So I took a, I just took the, this is vel, yeah, this is the vellum. Took the vellum, put one of my favorite quote cards from the dashboard kit on this jellyfish die cut. I don't know. So yeah, I scuba dive and this kit just, Oh, it's beautiful. That's my happy place. It's where I go to breathe and focus and just not be hyper vi hyper vigilant, hyper vigilant. Goodness, to be hyper vigilant under is underwater for me. So I just put a couple die cuts together, and I just tipped this in, and I loved it. I use washi. I use the stripe memories down. Put another tab on. I haven't done August yet. I'm not sure what, what I want to put. Oh, and then I just use some random stickers throughout the week, the month on the daily pages. So I'm going to do a tip in here. I'm just not sure of what exactly right now. I think I might print my own acetate with the flowers on it and put there. But that's how I use my, my Hobonichi with the Coco Daisy kit. I think that's it for this video. Kind of wraps it up. That's what I got. That's what I use. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I will talk to you later. Bye.